Hi there, and in this video, I want to actually discuss private functions and private variables in Godot. Because this is something that maybe uh, if you are a beginner and you actually haven't seen this uh, official GD script uh, style guide, maybe you haven't actually come across this and you may think, okay, what, what is actually a private variable, a private function, etc. Or do they even actually exist or are useful inside of the Godot editor? So this is what I want to address in this video because private functions and variables are not actually mentioned in the Godot documentation itself, in the tutorials that they provide, in the code snippets that they give. So well, this is something that I actually want to show you because it is something uh, I would say useful if you want to write cleaner, more efficient code. Uh, well, maybe in some time they completely update uh, the documentation and they actually start using private functions and private variables. Right now they don't. Uh, because basically this GDescript style guide will show you how to, for example, order your code. This is something that is usually skipped because once again, this GDescript style guide is not like so known or used. For example, this shows you the order that you have to use. For example, firstly, signals, then enums, constants, export variables, publics, privates, already. Uh, then you have optional built-in virtual init method, entered three method, uh, then the ready, and then the other built-in virtual methods, such as these are the process delta, physics process delta, etc. And then here you have, for example, public methods or private methods, and, and public variables and private variables. So which is the exact difference between the two? That first of all, private, uh, both variables and um, functions, they are um, prefixed with an underscore, okay? So let me actually find this. So we actually have this, okay? Private functions and uh, private variables, and they are prepend with a single underscore. So for example, underscore counter, underscore recalculate path. So we have to take into account this, and also in terms of the uh, code order, that basically if we take a look at the code order, provided uh, over here, we have that firstly, uh, they come public variables and then private variables. And once again, here we follow the same rule, but actually here also uh, before public methods, they come the built-in methods. So get ready, uh, ready uh, process delta, uh, physics process delta, etc. So uh, they are quite useful for actually ordering our code uh, as they should as it should, sorry. But also something that we have to understand is the following. If you have not used another programming language such as C Sharp in Unity or, or anything like that, you may not have this doubt, but I anyway wanted to show you this because what actually private and public means is that if there is a public variable or a public function, it means that from a, another class, from another script, that variable can be accessed, modified, etc. And a private variable or function uh, can't be accessed, modified, or called if it is a function, of course. Quite easy, the explanation. But in Godot, uh, as you can see, they don't actually exist. Everything is public. If you, uh, even if you uh, prefix a variable with an underscore or a function with an underscore, you can still call it from any script or class that you may want to access it. Whereas in another programming languages, for example, in Unity, C Sharp, if you have a, a private variable and function and you try to access it outside of the class, you will basically receive an error that because of the privacy settings of that, of that variable or function, you can't do that. So let's actually do something like kind of practical here for, for us to understand this. So first of all, I will just have here my main scene and I will add a character body. By the way, I am adding quickly a node with control A. This basically is the shortcut for adding a child node, as you can see, control A. So I will add here a player and I'm renaming them with F2. Um, and I will just super quickly uh, actually just add a sprite instead of a character body. Okay, and I will rename it as player. And I will save this um, player as its own scene and this main as, well, I will not save it, it's not necessary, but yes, I will save it just like there. Um, I don't want it, I didn't want to save it as a branch. Um, here in the player, let's basically declare a script, create a script. Let's super quickly create the two 
corresponding folders in order to keep this nice and clean okay and now what would happen is that uh, remember that firstly they come public variables and then private variables so for example if this player has a speed and then for some reason you want to modify this speed outside of the player basically in the main script for example that i will create over here then you should create this speed variable as a public variable so with that without the underscore so we'll create it for example let's give it 250 or 200 the same and then if i want to have some kind of private variable i would have to leave an empty line below the private variable and i would prepend it with an underscore so for example here i don't know a color to to refer to the player color uh, and then for example i want to have size i know I, i'm literally putting whatever comes to my mind i know and this would be a vector 2 to store the size x and size y and for example then i also want to have another public variable um and for example let your table is dead for example okay so by writing this we are telling ourselves as developers that these two variables are either read uh, or set in other scripts and with these two variables as they are prepended with an underscore uh, we are telling ourselves as developers that these variables shouldn't be accessed in other scripts so, uh, but this is what I wanted to show you. If I come in the main scene, okay, and then I will actually get access to this player. I will drag and drop it, and before dropping it, I will hold down control so that I get the reference. And also, something else that is explained in the GDescript style guide, you have to leave two empty lines between functions. So I wanted to actually uh, declare here the ready function. And let's say that I want to, here in the ready function, modify the speed of the player. So first of all, I will just print a player.speed okay just like that and then i want to modify this speed so for example player dot speed equals i don't know 500 okay and then i will print it again so that we can see the difference okay so here we have it at first we have it at 200 basically the default value then we change it to 500 and here we have the updated value by the way, these warnings are just because these two variables, I am not using them. And also another thing that you may see is that uh, actually I am not using the is dead variable inside of this class, inside of the class player. Uh, but I do not get a warning because as this is declared as a public variable, uh, maybe I am accessing this in other script, but I am not. So just this is for you to understand. An interesting thing here is that if I did this with another variable, for example, let's do this with player dot uh, size, for example. So size, okay, maybe something like this. And now I will modify this size uh, to, for example, being something like I don't know a vector two dot right, for example, okay. And I will then print it once again. And uh, what I will also do is here, instead of calling this Sprite2D, I will just create here a class name so that I can uh, easily reference here the player so that I get basically auto-completion uh, in this case. So now I can actually, for example, I do get the corresponding auto-completion. So once again, here the player size is, in, is not even initialized with, with the standard value. So it should be zero, zero, and then we are actually updating the value. So we are both reading and then setting the actual value. So even if this is set with an underscore, there is no real difference. Uh, at least for Go, it will compile the code in the exact same way. Uh, but well, this is just once again something for ourselves. Now what I will do is that I will do the same thing, but with methods, okay? The difference going to be the same one, so I'm going to be a little bit faster. So, for example, I will create here a function, a public function move, okay? And I will just um, print void, uh, sorry, print uh, move, okay? Then I will create a private function. Once again, as in the order with the variables, first the publics, then privates. And as this is private, I have to prefix it with an underscore. And I will call this one, uh, I don't know, 
set color, for example, okay? And I will print here a color set. I'm just calling this one, for example, set color because color is also a private variable. So it may, it may, it should make sense to modify something private in a private function. But once again, these are just examples. So if I wanted to do this, I could just call player dot uh, move. Okay. And this would work. And I could also do player dot underscore color or uh, sorry, set color. Okay. So let's see what we have here in the console. And indeed, we have both move and color set. So the two functions have been called, even though this one is meant to be private. Once again, if we perform this test in other programming language, such as in C Sharp using Unity, when we actually wanted to access this set color, we would have a privacy problem. We would basically receive an error that wouldn't allow us to play the game and would tell us that you can't access this variable because it is said to be private. Once again, this is not something that will affect directly your game. Uh, I, I don't even know if this would affect performance or anything like that. You can choose to do it like this. It is going to be much clearer, more efficient for you when you read the code and modify it, etc. It's going to be more emphatic because you know, okay, these variables are accessed outside of this class. These variables aren't. These functions are accessed outside of this class. These aren't. So it's a little bit better. And you also can order your code much faster because it is not going to be any more like random. Firstly, publics, then privates. The same thing with variables, okay? But well, the choice is up to you. I would really recommend that you start doing this for your future projects because as usual, clean and efficient code is always going to be something beneficial.